Over the past few decades, the mining industry became one of the leading and most important industries in the world. Global demand for commodities such as iron ore, gold, platinum, diamonds, uranium, copper and coal, to name but a few, have reached new heights. But in 2015, low commodity prices across the sector required innovative thinking to address the issue of profitable mining operations. As part of the challenges facing mines, mine rehabilitation and mine closure forms a very important part of the current mining engineering environment. We need to leave mining areas in the same way as we found them, or even better than before. Therefore, the challenge in the industry now is to recruit young, bright and innovative mines to become skilled mining engineers, to plan, manage and develop mines and mining operations to minimize and avoid the mining operations impact on the environment. If the mining industry appeals to you, the Department of Mining Engineering at the University of Pretoria is the place for you. Being the largest engineering education school in South Africa, and probably the largest on the African continent, with the University of Pretoria graduating almost one in four engineers in South Africa. We also pride ourselves as in terms of Thomson Reuters Essential Science Index, we are ranked in the top 1% of engineering schools in the world. We do not only grow in size, but also in stature in terms of quality of our engineering program. It is within this context that our mining engineering department plays a significant role in the South African landscape, with mining contributing almost 20% of South Africa's GDP, our Mining Engineering Department is one of the larger engineering education providers in South Africa. It enjoys significant recognition and stature in the mining industry and will continue to play a meaningful role in the economic development of the mining industry on the African continent and globally. The Department of Mining Engineering falls within the School of Engineering of the Faculty of Engineering, Built Environment and Information Technology, which celebrates its 60th year in 2016. Developing our students to become future managers, leaders and technical specialists is a priority and students are actively encouraged to hone their life skills and leadership abilities through participating in student activities. The department has established a sound foundation for future development of its teaching, research and community service. It's one of a few mining departments in the world to offer instructionally designed material for all mining related subjects to enhance the learning experience. The department boasts state-of-the-art facilities including lecture rooms, study centres, access to technology and students are assisted with an English language instructor as well as instructional designer to assist with their language and design development. The Kumba Virtual Reality Center for Mine Design is a major expansion of the department's facilities. This first in Africa project will enhance teaching on the continent and establish the University of Pretoria as the leading institution for mining engineering in Africa. What you're going to start seeing now is that mining engineers, they're going to be years ahead of uh, previous mining engineers. So you're going to start being able to see the visualization of things that you're planning. And I think there's going to be massive improvements in safety as people will be able to start seeing some of the, the concepts that they're designing, I think that's the kind of thing where, where this technology gives people an ability to see what will happen. You can in, induce failures and you can induce all sorts of things where they're not going to harm anybody. We're going to give them an ability to see in 3D the kind of things that only come with, with lots of experience 
I think that's where the big benefit of this kind of technology is going to be. An immersive 3D 360 degree cylinder can accommodate 25 students at a time and the surround sound and overhead projectors bring students right into the heart of the mine. Whether speeding down a shaft or walking along a tunnel, it's supported with a 76-seat mine design lecture hall and a 3D cinematic theatre seating 47 people. The images actually pop into your space, so you actually feel like reaching out and touching the things that you're seeing. So it's very real and it's very, it's very big. It gives you a true sense of, of how big things are and a true sense of, of, of whatever it is that they're trying to explain to you. Really seeing what happens and not looking at 2D pictures but seeing the real thing and also the consequences if you do something wrong. Instead of having to always imagine things that you haven't seen because when you do go for vac work, there's some things that we're exposed to and because of time, other things we're not exposed to because a lot of the time the problem was having to imagine something you've never seen before so this now bridges that gap of having to imagine everything else and then now having a reference to use. Get those 3D glasses on! Mining engineering spans many disciplines and after the completion of your four-year mining engineering degree, various postgraduate specialization options are available. These include rock mechanics, mine design, rock breaking and surface mining, mine ventilation engineering and underground mining methods. I believe with the facilities that we have at the University of Pretoria, we can add a lot of value to the mining industry by bringing changes. Like we know, we're currently mining using the conventional mining. The mechanization of mines can add a lot of value to the mines to make profit. In South Africa, we have a lot of opportunities in the mining industry. The mining industry still needs to grow and go further. Our country is very rich in different minerals. I believe mining is the future for us as long as we're going to apply the good technology and good ways of making profit. The curriculum also includes management and leadership, risk management and mineral economics as areas which can be pursued. For me the most impressive thing is that I hope that the youngsters of today, that the bright brains who are currently sitting at school and wondering what career they're going to choose, and they will see this facility and they will see South African mining is ready to shed its dinosaur skin and go into a new era where we actually embrace the technology that we have today. I feel more than prepared um, going to industry after studying my degree here at the University of Pretoria because you do the theory component of it and it's a different learning outcomes that you start that first they're just giving you the theory you start by applying it and then now we're at the last last learning outcome where we now are actually in charge of not just taking in the theory but then also what are we going to do and implement it when we get to, to industry. The whole staff was all comforting and all welcoming and then I realized that I was actually part of a very wonderful department that actually did want the best of the best and they really wanted the best of us so that actually pushed me in a direction to work very hard. And they've got a continuous open door policy within with all the lecturers. If you need help you're more than welcome to walk into a lecturer's office and he'll assist you there and then not only with your studies but if you've got problems within your personal life as well or financial problems they will assist you in order to um, get to yourself because they want to see you succeed, they want to see you walk out here as a qualified mining engineer that has got experience to tackle the outside world. The department has a positive focus on postgraduate and research activities supported by local and international industries. It hosts the Sassel Chair in Safety, Health and Environment program, as well as the Harmony Chair in Rock Engineering and Numerical Modeling. Both chairs' focus is to support and fill the needs of the global mining industry. The African Rainbow Minerals Mining Exhibition Centre forms part of the latest interventions to be further developed in the department. Being a University of Pretoria mining engineering student, you'll get hands-on training and exposure at operating mines. Regular mine visits to our mining partners are arranged and working holidays on mines form part of the curriculum requirements. When you actually go to the mines and when you 
actually see what you're learning and see it like being applied practically it's i think it's the most valuable thing ever because you can learn about how to lay a blasting pattern but to actually see a blasting taking place and when that button is pressed <laughs> so yeah Whew. underground it was for, for the first time it was very very scary for the second time i think it was a bit okay for the third time I was okay, then I got used to it. For the first time, my first day there, I was really scared. It's fascinating. Mining is, mining is real, mining is interesting. I find that the mining excursions offered by the University of Pretoria are very helpful when it comes to studying. And I find that this adds a huge amount of value to our study because it gives you a hands-on feel of what the industry is really like. But all is not hard work, and students are encouraged to join the Tux Mining Society, a sub-house which develop their leadership and people interaction skills. The university has many residences and day houses, which have many social events and interactions to make everyone feel part of being a Tucky. The Tux Sports Campus offers a variety of sports activities for both professional and amateur athletes. Community engagement is an important part of each program offered by the university. We offer a platform for young, innovative minds who want to make a difference to not only the mining industry, but to the communities around it. We look forward to welcoming you at the Department of Mining Engineering, where we educate and lead mining engineers to become Imagineers. Imagineers.